Would you believe me if I said that Agatha Harkness is arguably one of the most powerful witches in all of Marvel? Despite being depicted as an old lady in the comics and currently being without any powers in Agatha all along, Agatha has absolutely absurd powers. Part of the reason Agatha is such a powerful witch has everything to do with her age. Now, her age is never explicitly revealed in the comics, but based on this exchange in Silver Surfer issue 135, she met Scryer, a cosmic being, over five centuries before the fall of Atlantis, which, based on actual time, is like 12,000-ish years ago, if Google's right. Either way, she's old, and given the amount of time she's had on her hands, that has certainly allowed her to develop her skills as a witch. Given that she's been around for some time, she's been a part of various covens and has been a mentor to some of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe. Just like the old saying goes, if you can't explain it simply, you don't know it well enough. Well, I can imagine that you'd have to explain a lot of things fairly simply when you're the nanny and mentor to Franklin Richards, son of Reed and Sue Richards, who happens to be one of the strongest mutants in the Marvel Universe. That was technically our first introduction to Agatha in the comics and her main role for a majority of her appearances. Her other main role in the comics is when she became a mentor to another powerful being, the Scarlet Witch. Now, if you're able to teach the strongest witch in the entire Marvel Universe and help her hone her skills, my guess is you'd have to be pretty darn good at knowing the material yourself. As you probably well know, Agatha's main power is using spells within the greater system of magic called witchcraft. It appears that Agatha's main ways that she generates her magical abilities is through natural magical forces within the universe, extra dimensional beings, and her own magical energies slash powers of the mind, body, and soul. While she has garnered various magical abilities throughout her centuries, including firing mystical blasts with energy projections, the ability to control air, fire, electricity with elemental control, cast illusions, fly, and create force fields, those are not even her most notable powers. First, one one of her greatest powers is telepathy. She's demonstrated the ability to paralyze her enemies with only her mind in Fantastic Four issue 94, has read the minds of a large group while in an astral form in West Coast Avengers 62, has manipulated the memory of others on a global scale in Fantastic Four annual number 14, and can protect her mind and others' minds from a psychic force shown in Silver Surfer issue 135. But probably her most notable power, and one that I don't think many people know that she can do, is teleport. She's not only able to teleport short distances, but Agatha can transport herself and others to and from multiple different dimensions. According to Marvel, this is her greatest asset as it makes her have high levels of speed to help her avoid enemies and move from one location to another. Now, if you want to learn more about Agatha and her origin story, go ahead and check this video out.